You see, before I shared with you the Facebook ad strategy that helped thousands of Facebook advertisers really multiply their ROAS in a very short period of time, I want to quickly go over some mistakes um, some Facebook advertisers are making. I mean, I work with thousands of Facebook advertisers from all around the world. So there are a few, um, you know, like made fatal mistakes that you want to avoid at all, all, all costs, you know, especially if you're running an e-commerce campaign, right? So, um, First thing first, I have seen so many advertisers actually over retarget. Now, what do we mean by over retargeting? That means you are actually setting up something like, for example, you retarget people who visit your website in the last 60 days, for example. And some people actually do like, you know, add to cart retargeting up to 180 days. Now, you may believe that this is actually the best way um, because you, you probably would think that, you know, the, the longer I go, the more people I would have. But my question to you here is this. What do you sell that requires 30 days or 60 days or even 180 days to consider whether to buy from you or someone else? You see, here's the thing. The moment you run this kind of like over retargeting campaign, you will actually face a few problems. First, you will waste your budget because people already probably have decided to buy from you or someone else in the last maybe like seven days. And the other 23 days of retargeting is actually a waste of money. All right, second thing is, you are actually spending money on people who are no longer interested. So that's a waste of budget as well. So these are the things that you want to consider, which is over retargeting. If you do that, then you have to probably stop right now. Now, the second thing is, you know, seriously, I still um, uh, meet a lot of advertisers that, that do not retarget because they always have this belief that, look, I'm, I will run my campaign for a week. And then after that, I will retarget next week. No, that's totally the wrong concept. Why? Because... You see, here's the idea, right? If I'm interested in your product, I click right now, probably I won't buy. In fact, 99% of these people will not buy because anyway, you're a new product, you're a new brand, right? Um, so I will come in and browse and all that, you know, I will probably just kind of like forget it and do something else. Now, you need to actually retarget right now because the purchase intent happens right now. It is here, it is now. You know, you do not retarget one week later, probably this guy has already forgotten about it or he probably actually bought it from someone else. That's the key, right? So you must retarget right away, right? Now, the next thing is really, it's about overreaching. Now, what do you mean by overreaching? Overreaching happens when you do not exclude. Now, what do we mean? Okay, here's how it works, right? When you're running a campaign, you'll be reaching new people, correct? So there will be people who have actually seen your ad, click on it and all that. You know, in my opinion, they shouldn't be seeing the same ad again. Agree? Because your ad are supposed to reach new people, to bring in new people into your funnel for you. That's how whole thing works, right? I mean, eventually, if you do not exclude, right, there will be a bunch of people who keep that, I mean, will keep seeing advertisement until that extent, they will be like, you know, seriously, why are you still targeting me? But eventually, when you are over retargeting, which means you can actually check, you see your frequency, you know, for the last seven to 14 days, right, for that particular campaign, is it a little bit too high? High means, you know, you are having about two to three frequency. That's actually very high. Because we wanted to keep it below uh, two for the top of funnel campaign. So overreaching would actually waste your budget. Imagine your, your frequency is now three, for example. But if you're able to reduce it to 1.6, that means your ad can actually potentially reach you know, another one time more people. What does that mean to your business? That's the whole idea I want to highlight to you before I go into the strategy. Because a lot of advertisers are making mistakes that are actually wasting their money and wasting opportunities to convert. That's why I want to share with you the strategy that I help, you know, um, thousands of Facebook advertisers from all around the world um, run Facebook ads in the most optimum way, uh, which, I, which I call it the two-step funnel. Now, essentially two-step funnel, there are a few key um, so-called concepts about two-step funnel. First thing first, we need to have at least two, two, two sets of ads running simultaneously. I mean, it could be two ad sets, it could be two campaigns, depending on the strategy. Now, uh, we will have at least two ads. Now, the key concept is there will be a top of funnel ad that is constantly reaching new people for us. You know, this will keep bringing in new people into the funnel for us and we keep introducing our product or brand to new people. So that's that, right? And the other one is what we call the retargeting ad, which I call it the T2. So there will be a T1, tier one, T1, you know, and T2, which is the retargeting. Now, the retargeting is really where we really retarget the right people at the right time to get them to take the right action. So that's the whole key concept. So two-step funnel, at least two ads. But of course, for certain businesses, we may have multiple tier two, multiple T2, because you might be retargeting, let's say for the first seven days, you want to retarget with the same product they were looking at. 
Um, and they did another one, maybe another seven days, you want to introduce them to your other products because if you're selling a huge variety of products, it's actually a meaningful thing to do to introduce your audience about your other products, which is, that's another different strategy. But essentially, I want you to understand the key concept of having two ads. Now, this is what we call a tier one advertisement. So a tier one advertisement can be anything, right? It could be a video, it could be a slideshow, it could be an instant experience like this, it could be a you know, single image, it's fine. So one key concept I want to highlight to you here is when we are running ads, you must understand one thing called the audience qualifier. So what do you mean by audience qualifier? These are the concepts or the actions that you deem, you know, you, you actually define as if they take these actions, they are interested or they have taken action on the ad itself. So what we define here is, you know, whether a person engaged with the ad. Now, engage here can be anything. Liking the post, liking the video, clicking to play the video, clicking on the advertisement, including clicking the ad and go to the destination. So engage covers everything. So whether they engage with the ad, view the video, click on it, or of course, purchase, all right? This, we're talking about e-commerce. So either one of these action, if they have taken either one of these action, one thing we must do, we must exclude them from seeing this advertisement. Now, this is a very important key concept. If you do this, I can guarantee your frequency is gonna low, it's gonna be lower. And when you have lower frequency, that means your ad are actively reaching more new people for your business. That's the most important fundamental you have to understand, right? Okay, then of course we will have the other group of ads coming up. So this is what we do, you know. When I know that you have engaged with my ad, view my ad and click on my ad, I will retarget you with the next ad. Now, here's the thing. Remember just now we talked about over-retargeting, overreaching, you know, and not retargeting. When it comes to retargeting, the key concept is you retarget, okay, for an optimum duration. So for example, right, for most e-commerce business that we are looking at, right, usually we start with seven days retargeting. You know, then we observe the metrics. If there is an, any, any necessity to kind of like lengthen it to 14 or something like that, we would actually make adjustment accordingly. But that's, that's how we start. So seven day retargeting, all right, um, is actually to reinforce the key message that you have. Like for example, for this advertisement, we show more ads. And of course, when they purchase, right, we're not going to show them anything anymore. So essentially, um, this is how the two-step funnel work, right? So let's do a quick recap, right? So remember the tier one? T1 ad is always going up to help you reach new people. So we will have a, a audience, a set of audience qualifiers. And eventually, if they have taken any of this action, they stop seeing tier one. So that effectively makes the tier one an evergreen campaign that you can constantly reach out new people and constantly push out old people who have taken certain action. So that's uh, you know, like a flowing thing, right? So that's how we work. And then after that, for those who have actually taken certain action but yet to purchase, we would actually retarget them with another advertisement. And the, this retargeting would actually only last for maybe like seven days, all right? And of course, we can have multiple tier two, but that's the key concept. So I want you to look at this again. You know, basically, this is a framework that actually allows you to really um, constantly reach new people and constantly retarget people who are really interested. When you apply these two things, right, generally, you would actually leave your overall conversion because you see the tier one may get you normal ROAS for example, return on advertising spend. But the tier two is going to be, you know, like reinforcing the key message and target those people who are already interested. And we are able to increase our overall ROAS when tier two gets better ROAS. You get the idea? So basically, um, there is another key concept you have to understand, okay? Let's say if we spend $100 a day, we spend 80% of the budget on tier one and 20% of the budget on tier two. So essentially, we are able to, you know, like optimize because the tier two will spend so much lower money, but you will get better results. So this is actually how we balance up the tier one and tier two ad spend and eventually overall lift the overall ROAS of our campaign. So I'm going to give you a few examples over here, right? So this is an organic store on Shopee, which is a marketplace in Malaysia and Southeast Asia region. So um, we were actually, you know, this is really the retargeting key uh, campaign when, I mean, when the tier one, which is the, you know, the, the, the top of funnel campaign is already doing at about two ROAS, which is not really making money. But when the tier two come in with this kind of ROAS, it balance up, we would actually a, having about, I think four, four to five overall ROAS. So that balance up, you know, eventually you will have a meaningful campaign that's really making you money. So this is how we can actually do that um, to improve your overall ROAS. 
and this is a multiple ad set over here. I think um, basically the first and fourth are actually the broad, I mean, this is the tier one. So the tier one, we're actually doing about eight ROAS. But when the tier two comes in, right, we were actually having about 11, even up to 17 ROAS over here. So balance it up, I think we were having about 11 or 12 ROAS, you know, uh, when we balance out for tier one and tier two. So this is how uh, we actually have an apparel e-commerce business um, to achieve a different result with their, you know, Facebook ads campaign with, a, you know, very tailor-made strategy for them. And then uh, this is another one. This is the cosmetic store on Shopee selling in Indonesia as well. So as you can see, the first campaign is actually the tier one, okay? Which, you know, it's two ROAS usually. We are not making a lot of money from this, probably not even making money. But when the tier two comes in, which is the second campaign and the third campaign, overall, we are able to achieve 6.12 ROAS. You know, although the tier one is not making very, I mean, not doing very good, but when we overall balance it up, we have a better ROAS overall, which that's what we want, right? And of course, this is another, um, furniture store on Shopee that um, it is in Malaysia. As you can see, right, one, two, three, four, five, the fifth campaign at the bottom, you know, um, with um, 0 0.43 ROAS is actually their tier one. They don't make money on tier one. So sometimes you will have this kind of situation where your T1 is not making money because the, I mean, the function of your T1 is to help you reach new people, you know, keep pulling in new people and all that because Technically, nobody, almost nobody will buy from you the first time they see your ad. They're just interested. But when you're able to capitalize on the intent and do the right thing, you know, um, as you can see, other campaigns are having like 11 ROAS, 8 ROAS, 6 and 5.22. So overall for the entire campaign period, I think it's about one month or two, you know, we, we get 6.39, which is definitely a profitable campaign. So if you are actually having problem about, you know, not able to really form a strategy, you know, that can actually work best for your business or you are actually struggling to get positive ROAS for your overall campaign. This is something that you probably want to implement for your business. That's why, you know, if you want to design your strategy, all right, I would like to invite you to look at my program, which is, you know, I have a Facebook ad strategy design kind of like Fiverr Geek, okay? So um, this is actually, you scan this QR code, it will take you to Fiverr where you can actually book a gig at a, you know, at a cost, of course, it's not free. But then again, uh, once you actually do this, we'll be able to spend one hour together to look at your business. This is a purely one-on-one -on -one, um, engagement where you and I is going to go over a Zoom call and uh, within an hour, I will understand your business and I will ask you questions, of course. And basically within the call itself, right, I'm going to design a strategy for you based on my two-step funnel. And then after that, we will even go through the setup of course, not to the extent of setting up the ad and all this kind of thing, but I will walk you through on the campaign structure setup, you know, so that you are able to, you know, uh, of course, not to the ad level, but the ad set level and the campaign level, we set it up for tier one and tier two. And then after that, all you need to do is to fill in your, you know, visuals and then all that, and then everything will be, you know, you can actually get your two-step funnel up and running for your Facebook ads campaign. So if this is something that you're looking at, scan this QR code, and um, I look forward to talk to you really soon to work together.